Jenke, big business technology for small Good business. Good morning, welcome again to BTP. Michael Jenkin here. Yeah, we get into the craziest little hovels and places to do our IT work. But anyway, today I'm not here to talk to you about cabling or lack of cabling, as it would appear. I'm here to talk to you about cloud op. People come to us all the time. Should I get a cloud server? Should I put my stuff in the cloud? Hey, you guys at BTP, do you do cloud? Do you do on premise? What do you do? We do what's right for you. Similar to yesterday's video about virtualization, we do what we think is right for your business. We find out what sort of internet connection you've got, we find out what sort of resources you need, we find out what legalities there are with the kind of data you've got, and we find out if it's practical, if it's cost effective, or if it's not cost effective. A lot of clients around South Australia, a lot of our clients have still got ADSL, and unfortunately that's just not going to cut it with a lot of things on the cloud. Some clients have upgraded the fiber, but their data still does not belong on the cloud, or it belongs in Australia and not overseas. So with the cloud, it's a loaded, loaded question. Do we recommend it? Yeah, look, we'd recommend it. Do you recommend on-premise? Yeah, we sure do. But we find out what's right for you. With cloud, you gotta have nice bandwidth, you gotta have reliable resources, um, you gotta have the expectation that things may go wrong a little bit, because we do have fiber gets cut, we do have all sorts of internet outages, uh, Telstra had one recently, Microsoft had a second factor authentication issue recently, uh, Internode had a fiber cut, all kinds of things happen. So when it comes to cloud, we've got to think about the best way to make sure you're getting the best bang for buck. When it goes to things like um, outsourcing your email, if you've got an exchange server physically on premise, it may actually be more cost effective to keep that. It may be more cost effective not to move to cloud just yet. But if you don't have an exchange server and you want to use Office 365, that might also be just as good an idea. If you want to go for a CRM in the cloud, or if you want to go and put your server and virtualize it and put it in the cloud, you need to have lots of bandwidth. And of course, we can help you with that as well. We can help you with cloud solutions. We can help you with physical solutions. We can help you with hybrid solutions. All this new term that's coming out from Microsoft, an edge server. We can help you with edge servers. We can also help you co-locate and put your servers into a data center so that you've got a nice fat fiber link linking you to the data center. And then of course, from there, you've got a rack that you own a portion of and your server's now in there. Or it could be virtual and uploaded into Azure. We help you with all solutions. We're not one solution based. Again, we talk to you, we find out what you're using, we find out how it's gonna affect you. If you've got ADSL, if it's six megabit and you've got 30 people, we're probably not gonna recommend cloud. If you're an accountant or deal with uh, data to do with miners or uh, school or something like that, and your data has to reside in Australia, we'll make sure it resides in Australia or does not go cloud. If you are mobile and you've got a disparate uh, location, people all over the place, and you want to pull them together in one place, we won't go cloud. So have a chat to us, tell us about your situation, tell us what you prefer to use, um, and we'll work out what we can work out with you. Work out your solution for you, because not next door neighbor solution ain't gonna work for you. It's gotta be your solution for you. Anyway, so here we go, BTP, we're not for cloud, we're not against cloud, we're not for physical, we're not against physical, and as per yesterday's video, we're not for or against virtual. We do everything, we just figure out what's right for you. So think about those things, have a great day, and we'll catch you again tomorrow.